Robert Fares, The Diary, written by Mark Quinn. This episode of The Diary is called Sex Education. <laughs> in my diary. I don't want Grandpa and Grandma to see it. But then again, they should not be reading a nine-year-old boy's private things. I'm going to hit puberty soon. Well, that's what the music teacher, Mrs Cuthbert, said. Oh, nothing yet. But what does she know? Silly cow can't even teach music. OK, Robert, be brave. And write it in the diary. I'll write it in red ink. Sex education. Because there was a lot of blood. <coughs> in school today, we had a lesson on sex education. By no other than, I'll write this in green because of her breath. Mrs. Rogers, my form and sex expert teacher. It was about how a brand new baby is born. Brand new? It looked bloody old. I mean, I saw Grandpa getting out of the shower the other day. He looked younger. I do hope Grandpa isn't reading this. He'll think I'm a pervert. If you are reading this, you're the sick one. I'll write that in purple ink because all I saw was veins. <sighs> so, back to brand new baby. Well, Mrs Rogers was bad breathing over everyone and Fatty Jones was eating a packet of pickle nanny and monster munch. It was like I was watching some sort of sensory video. I had the view of this baby's head and the blinking smells too. No wonder Keith Winterbottom was sick all over the back of Katie Singleworth. Ugh. <sighs> A few years ago, me and Smithy were playing football card swap and Katie Singleworth wanted to join in. She said she would show me her nipple, but I said I'd rather keep David Beckham. Ugh. Anyway, the nipple shower had sick all in her hair, and Smithy said he had a chickpea curry for dinner that didn't agree with him, and it had nothing to do with the fact that when the baby popped out and all the blood, I'll write in red ink, Looked like a scene from Alien. That is why Smithy was sick. <sighs> anyway, Singleworth had to leave the class and go and see the knit nurse because she was the only one with a comb thin enough to get the chickpeas from her hair. You should have seen Fatty Jones's face. <coughs> <coughs> It was a picture. He said he wasn't born like the brand new baby in the video. And he arrived on a donkey's back like the baby Jesus. And not out of his mum's tunnel. Must have been a bloody big donkey. Ugh. Well, it definitely was a surprise to us all to see this video of how a brand new baby is born. Next week, we're going to see how it gets there. Mr. Jones, the science teacher, is doing this one. <sighs> he told the class it's going to be about tadpoles and semen. By the sounds of it, Fatty Jones didn't come on the back of a donkey. He came out of Moby Dick.
That was a Mark Quinn production, read by Jennifer Quinn.